On the streets running reckless, God's chosen Better listen to Yahweh. he has spoken Who told these other nations this book they could open If you're not Israel, then you're not chosen All praises, honour and glory be to Yahweh Bahashem Hamashiach Yahweh Shai Being fooled by our oppressors and all their lies Ruach HaKodesh guides me from this world I'm cutting ties out there on the highways and byways Or edifying the lost sheep of the house of Israel Spirit strong in his faith We're here to tell you that we are the Israelites We've got strong people Right? The Lord loves us and dealing with us on a high level. So that's why as soon as we break the commandments, we eat pork, crab, shrimp, lobster, punishment comes to us. Disease, trial, no not trial, disease, um, tumours, uh, 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 high blood pressure, right? diabetes, all these things happen to us because the Lord doesn't want us to eat these scavengers of the earth. Right? A pig is a scavenger. Right? The Lord is a scavenger. These scavengers, frustrations, we can't eat these things, either. John 14 verse 15 If you love me, keep my commandments So the Lord said if you love me, keep my commandments If you love the Lord, no? So you're not going to keep his commandments So then I can't be buying and selling on the seventh day As a Hebrew Israelite As a Jew of Zion Let me give you one more to uplift your spirit To show you how the Lord uh, uh, sees you In your beauty, right? Jeremiah Jeremiah 6 verse 2 I've likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. The Lord said, I've likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. The Lord said, You're beautiful and delicate. You've got little makeup, no eyelashes, no nipples, no BBL, no hot girl summer. You don't need none of these things. You're daughter of Zion. Go show the people. You are the Israelites. Right? You have to keep the commandments and do what's right. Right? Another commandment now pertaining to people who are weary. Hey, the Lord commands our women. Way. You think the Lord wants women who are princesses, who are daughters of Zion, to wear pants? You think He wants their men to wear dresses? Imagine who wear dresses. What's the first thing that comes there? Men wear dresses. It's evil, isn't it? Weird, isn't it? Cross dressing, isn't it? So imagine women wearing pants now. That's not weird as well. Let's see what the Lord says. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear. Upon to a man, right. neither show a man upon the woman's garment. Why? Who that do so, abomination to the Lord thy God. The Lord said the women can't wear pants and the men can't wear dresses. Even in slavery times, the women had dresses on. Your princess, have you ever, ever seen a princess with pants? Never! You never see a princess with pants, they're showing like cleavage. They're covered up and wearing dresses and skirts. Some of them even head wraps. So if you're a daughter of Zion, you believe in God, and you believe with the Israelites, wouldn't you want to keep the commands of God for eternal life? Let me get Matthew 9 and 16. The Lord said, if you want eternal life, you have to keep the commandments. Right? All these things happen to the Israelites, because there are people that go through slavery as a punishment of God. There are people that go through slavery as a punishment of God. Yeah? No? So we didn't go through slavery. They do, okay, go read this and I won't be trying to turn it into tea. Say that again? They do, but it wasn't a punishment. It's it wasn't how, a punishment? It's how, I'm going to show you in the Holy Bible it was a punishment. Read that. Matthew 19 verse 16. You're going to learn today, sister. You're going to learn today, as they say. Go on. Matthew 19, no. Matthew 19 verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do? So one came to the Son of God and said, Good master, what good thing shall I do? Right? That I may have eternal life. You want eternal life, no? You want to get to the kingdom of heaven, no? Come on. And he said unto him, Why couldst thou be good? The Christ said, Why couldn't be good? See? There is none good in one that is good. So they said there's none good but one that is the most high. Right? Come on. But if but if thou would enter into life, right? keep the commandments. But the Lord said, If you want eternal life, you have to keep commandments, put on a dress, a skirt and a head wrap as a daughter of Zion, that's a commandment. Us as men, we have to grow out our beards, that's a commandment, right? We are the Hebrew Israelites, we're God's chosen people, so we have to keep the commandments for the best, or to the best of our ability. And let me get the slave ship. Now the last one in the slave ship, that's it, your flags. Your flag, just me, this flag, just me. Time of 
Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord said he's going to bring us into slavery again with ships. The word Egypt means bondage. Also another word for that is slavery. It's between a rock and a hard place. Misery in the Hebrew, come on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt sit no more again. Come on. And there shall be sold unto your enemies. And who? Be sold unto your enemies. The, the Lord said, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. For bond men, for slave man, and bond woman, slave woman, and no man shall buy. No one's going to redeem. Did that not happen to our people? We we'll were sent on slave ships, for slave man and slave woman, and no one redeemed us. This is in the Holy Bible. The Lord said, because we brought the commandments, we went to slavery. We were servants to our enemies, and we were slave man and slave woman. Did that not happen? Did you not say that's not in the Bible? Did you not say slavery happened, but it wasn't a God? Did we not prove that it was a God? Let me get 15, uh, 28, 15. Let me show you why it happened. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken. Now what does hearken mean? So what is H-E-A-R? Hear. So what, what is hearken? It's an old English word for listen. The Lord said, if you don't hear, if you don't listen, what's going to happen? Watch yourself. Right, come on. What's going to happen? Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right, if you don't listen unto the voice of the Lord thy God, what's going to happen? Preserve. All his commandments and the statutes which are commanded this day, and all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, this is, this is a blessing or a curse. At first, the Lord said, You don't listen, all these curses are going to come upon you and overtake thee. He doesn't have to people. So, who sent the, uh, uh, the red man against us? Yeah, the red man. You know what I'm talking about, the red man, because they're not white. I've never seen a white man in my life. We're not black. The black is black. We need to change the brown, no? Are you black? Are you colored in any? Is there a lamp in black? All right then, so we're trying to cut down strongholds and different words and whatnot. But we are the Israelites. The Lord sent our enemies against us, right? The slave man and slave woman because we broke the commandments. So we believe they are enemies because the Lord said they are enemies. We believe that. We pray to the Most High. So who did this happen to? The Israelites, no? It was prophesied to the Israelites. So if this happened to our people, who will be upon to the Bible? If the slave ship and punishments and curses happen to our people for breaking the commandments and the Lord called them Israelites, who are we according to the Bible if the Lord called them Israelites? Which one we check that? Who are we? If the slave ship and everything happened to us because we broke the commandments and the Lord called them Israelites, who are we according to the Bible? Read that. Deuteronomy 29, verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make to the children of Israel. Word of the agreement, the covenant of the agreement, and it was to the children of Israel. So who did the agreement to? And who did the slave ship uh, uh, happen to? The punishment. So who are we then if the slave ship happened to us as well? Israelites! Who prays to the Lord's side? So listen, you've got to keep the commandments as long. No pork, no crab. This is that smilish. You've got to say, that's that. This is it. No pork, no crab, no shrimp, no lobster. But all these things will keep happening. All the evil keep happening to our people. Right? You have to keep the commandments as an Israelite. I love your uh, brother and sister and yourself. And keep the Sabbath day holy. Next week, you can't be spending the mind system. Peace and blessing. No more pants and stuff. The Lord said, no more pants. Right? Right. So let me get the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 1. Right? Quickly, folks. You know how people that are in a rush, we know the younger generation, you have to kind of take it in. Hey, this is the rest of we don't have peace, we are all brother. Verse Corinthians 3, verse 1. And I, brethren, could not speak. Sister, how did they go? Give me the Lord, give me one scripture. I'll give you a smile in the face. Verse Corinthians 3, verse 1. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but unto but as unto carnal, uh, even... So sometimes you have to speak unto people carnal. Like a lot of people are talking nowadays about what happened with Remy Ma and Papyrus, man. If she done what she done, if she did it, if she committed adultery or not, right? We only can answer that God said the Lord, man. You can't commit adultery, right? You can't be laying down with another man's wife, hey. And a woman can't be laying down with another man, other than her husband, 
is playing. You don't need to go into no long gossip and, and watch 10 videos from BD Academics. And listen, if it happened, then and listen, it's evil and it's off and you need to repent and it's a change for what you're doing. But none of this is tolerated in, in the nation of Israel. You can't lay down another man's wife. Women who are promised another man can't be laid down another man that's not their husband. Playing up on tables, right? All the gossiping, we're not going to take that or, 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 or listen to none of that. But listen, a man has to love his wife and a woman has to love her husband. Playing up on tables. Since we've got two minutes for the word of God. No, sorry. Yeah. One minute. No. See that? Still sure not. Go on. Even as unto babes in Christ. Even as unto babes in Christ. You have to be able to unto babes in Christ. The milk with the love of sincere milk. Practice precepts. Love the brothers and self, man. These are mandatory things. Standard things. As I said, the day of atonement really should only be to the hearts of the Lord for mercy. From the last atonement, which is uh, exactly four months after, from the year before. Right? It's every year we keep the day of atonement. Not for bringing a brother in the last minute and say, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I've done this. No, if you're making reconciliation in a whole side of sins and not sin, begging for mercy, we don't. I have fed you with milk. Right, you have to feed that people with milk. So this is going to spread over the basics, the milk. Come on. And not with me. And not with me. For ever too, you were not able to bear it. Neither you were not able to bear it. Neither yet now are you able. Yet now are you able, right? But you can't give someone who's the planet that is a like uh, uh, strong breakdown, strong breakdowns, right? About the moon moon, about fasting. You want to give them the basics, right? So they can understand the milk. Right? A baby part of me, you kill it. That's off. Right? Alright, you've got three minutes for the word of God. Read up. As where, whereas there is among you envy and strife. Right, that's what happens a lot of my brethren. When they get a bit of knowledge, they get puffed up, they get prideful. The scripture says, any man who knows something, he knows nothing, man. I want to have this one, but. And divisions. Are you and not. Divisions among each other. I'm from this camp, I'm from that camp. Are you not with us, though, man? I see any Israelite that is not proud of. Right. I see a brother from IU, I see when I was working about what three weeks ago, post on the channel. That's my brother. You don't care about what time you're from. That's the weird stuff, man. That's the wrong stuff. Right. Right. Oh, you're from this camp, I find you chat to you, know. Me and you find me certain stuff. That's off stuff, man. Right. Come on. Strive and divisions. Are you not carnal? That's carnal. Right? You're from that camp. You don't wear that colour. You don't do this. Right? You're not going to labor with us. Once you see a brother with fringes, which I rarely see, right? Hey, that's my brother. Right? Read them. And walk as men. The Lord said walk as men with the prophet Paul, man. You're not walking as good girls, man. You're not walking as men. Right? Strive to envy it. Walk as a man. You don't envy your brother, man. Right? So walk as a man. You're not going to envy your brother. You're not going to be puffed up. Right? You're going to love your brother yourself. Come on. For, for while, one say, I am a fool. Another brother say, I'm from this camp, right? What does another brother say? Another, I am of Apollos. Right, another, I'm from that camp. Come on. Are you not carnal? That's carnal behavior, right? This is what little girls do. Men don't do this. Come on. Right? Verse 5. Who then is Paul and who is Apollos? So your camp name doesn't mean nothing for you. The brothers in, in the camp doesn't mean you're better than, than other brothers, no matter how much number you have, or how much people you have, or how much breakdown you have, it doesn't mean nothing. Man. Who are we? We're just men. If any man really knows something, we know, we know nothing. What right, ministers by whom you believe? What by ministers by whom you believe? We're just ministers of the most high, they serve us of the most high, that's it. Come on. Even as the Lord gave to every man. Even as the most high gave to every man. Minister, preach the word, to tell the people to repent, walk with reason away, right? To shake the hand, man. To wake up the five men, to put a beard in the face and wear fringes. Come on. I have blood to Apollo, watered, but God gave the increase. So I might plant another brother might water, but it's the most side that gave it to increase, man. And the brother that 
brother or sister to get a pot of pot, to get their fringes, and to keep the eye all the days, and to pray with past the family. To do all things decently and all the time. Alright, come on. Verse 7. So then, neither is he that pl planted anything, neither that he bought with. God that giveth the But we come before your your generation, and we we we, we done be putting in the work. Sister, this is just sister, yeah, I know, but it's just a necklace. I, I it ain't nothing. Sister. Okay, how'd you do that? How'd you do that? My day is good. See that? Now you feel good. good now, isn't it? So, sister, yeah. we're trying to show you that the cross represents death. We will not command you to put a cross around your neck. Yeah. All right. God That's bless what we're trying you. to show. You. Yeah, you but can't I, I know. Bless me. I know. You can't bless I know. me with a cross around your neck. All right, then. The Lord doesn't hear the prayer of sinners. We're trying to wake you up. He's the spa with sinners. Yes, but guess what? They repented. He called them to repentance. Like the Christians when he We're not Christians. You don't know We're the Israelites. I said, how did they do it? I said, take the cross off. I'm not. I'm saying repent. Change. I don't need to change. I spent every day working with vulnerable adults and children. Come, come, come. Come, sister. Come, come. Please. Come. No, I'm not coming. I'm not coming. Okay, don't come, by the, come behind the camera. See that? Nice. No, the camera's an issue. So if the camera wasn't there, then this is all the case. Oh, Where are we at? Two first, 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 first. Any man can know something that was not But if that was the heathen, they would want to listen. Our huh? people just want to be right. As the sister said last week, uh, uh, the sister that threw away the sister, we can't tell our people nothing. The moment we try and tell them something, they don't want to hear it. But the red man can tell them something. First Corinthians 8 verse 2. First Corinthians 8 verse 2. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing. He knoweth what? Knoweth nothing. Now we studied for 20 years. He knoweth nothing. But he studied theology. He knoweth nothing. The Lord said if any man thinks he knows something, he popped up and he knoweth nothing. Come on. Yet, yeah. as he ought to know. Read that again. Read that again. Read that again. Read that if any man thinks that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing. No, so if any man thinks that he knoweth something, he knoweth nothing. As what? Yet as he ought to know. As he ought to know. Auntie, come in the word of God, Auntie. Right? We're going to see you. We're going to try something. Right? We're going to try this. Let's see. Let me get Amos chapter 5 verse 15. I've got a question for everyone. Which one would be Jesus Christ? Especially Jesus Christ. Especially the one with only hair. That's good. That's good, sister. You know the truth. You know the truth. That's good. She actually picked this one in front. But guess what? She got separate from her enemies. Right? She got still be with her with her enemies, kind of eating pork, kind of celebrating birthdays, kind of getting into Christmas, kind of getting into Halloween, dressing up, trying to be a, a Beyonce or Tina Turner. 
Amos 5 verse 14 Seek good and not evil right. that you may live The Lord said seek good and not evil that you may live If you want to live, you're going to seek good The Lord said keep my commandments and live Come on And so the Lord And so the Lord, the God of hosts shall be with you as as ye have spoken. The Lord said, so the Lord of uh, hosts, the Lord of armies shall be with you, as ye have spoken, man. It's high time for people to wake up, man. We're not going to be waiting until another woman gets strangled, waiting until someone else gets butchered, waiting until someone gets shot, right? And it's, it's good that now, after a year, the police of that shot that brother, right, finally got held accountable. Right, right. right? Should take a year, but hey, this is the, the system that we live in, man. Let me get a uh, lamentation 417, man. We keep trusting in the nation that can't help us. Sister, how's your day gone? You believe in God? You've got two million in the word of God. No one's ever heard me, Father. You know? But everyone's got an answer for everything. Let me get a lamentation 417. Right? High time for people to wake up out of sleep, to believe the gospel, before all hell breaks loose, before all man of evil comes to this place. Right? But everyone just wants to live their best life, driving up and down, going nowhere fast. Lamentation 4 7. Oh. Any questions? Any questions? Yeah. No, bring that up here. Uh, uh, lamentation 4 7. 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 As for us, get yeah. as for us, our eyes are get filled for our vain help. Watching. Read that again, read that again. I need that spiritually. I need that. Come on. As for us, our eyes. Sorry, I'm in a rush. You wanna take a file? Amos 4 verse 17. Lamentation 4 verse 17. Okay, um, Lamentation 4 verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. We're living in the last days, sister. Prepared for the legal gospel. We want to dress a head wrap and a skirt according to the commandments. Come on. As for us, our eyes as yet failed. So as for us, our eyes as yet failed us. Come on. For our vain help. For our vain help. We keep going to the system, protesting. Uh, uh, answer for help, saying some shoot, saying Black Lives Matter, that's not gonna help us. It's a vain help, come on. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. In our watching, as as for us, our eyes are yet filled for our vain help in watching. We are watched by a nation that could not save us. We are watching for a nation that can't save us because the Lord sent them against us. How can we go to them if the Lord sent them against us? Wouldn't it make more sense to go to the Most High for to deliver us from the hands of our enemies? Sister of the glasses, how many words have got, sister? See that? The Lord slapped the corner of our hand. Yeah. We'll pray to the Most High. <laughs> Come in the word of God once, you know? Once, you know? You want to take a class? Since you're ready to be in church once, but you don't know the church teaching lies. They're not teaching, they're not teaching just saying the Lord. They're teaching practical lies. Right? They're teaching foolishness. Come on. Verse 18. We have our steps. Right? We have our steps. But we cannot go in our feet. Right? We cannot go in our feet. Right? Okay, so which 
Come on, sister. Come on. Let me get the book of John chapter 8, verse 32. Let me get John 17, 17. John 17 verse 17 Sanctify them through thy truth right. Thy word is truth hey, The word of God is truth So you've got to read the word Get the next one You've got to read the word You've got to understand the word It's going to give you truth you understand John 8 verse 17 Psalms 119 verse 17 You've got to understand the word You've got to read the word You've got to study You've got to meditate As it says in Joshua 1 and 8 man You've got to meditate in the word Right? And the gospel, the truth, man, and the commandments. These are the things we've got to realize and understand, man. Right? Forget that from the top of the shop. So Psalm 148. Brother, you believe in the Lord? You've got two minutes for the word of God. Let me get uh, Psalms 148, verse, uh, uh, Psalms 119, verse 114. Right? right. And let me get uh, 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 the next one, what I'm called. John, Psalms uh, 119 verse John uh, it, oh, John 8 and 32 as well but, Psalms 119 verse 16 No Psalms 119 verse 148 Psalms 119 verse 148 My eyes prevent the night watches that the righteousness is the everlasting. So read it with my come on. The righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. The Lord said that righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Well, and the law is the truth. And the law of God is the truth. And let me get the next one. The law of God is the truth. John 8 verse 32 And you shall know the truth And the truth shall make you free The Lord said we shall know the truth And the truth shall make you free Shall not wear, and we should take this one to a man. Neither shall a man put the woman's garment. Why? All that do so are abomination to the Lord thy God. All that do so are abomination of the testable thing to the Lord thy God. For our women to put on pants. verse 17 Therefore to him that knoweth to be good and doeth it not to him it is sin
Let me get Romans 13 and 11. Romans 13 and 11. Romans 13 verse 11. Yes, Yes, he couldn't even have the answer, let me know he's making up. What time to make up it? Just so they can't stop. He couldn't even answer what he's late for. Romans 13 verse 11. And that known a time that now is a high time to wake out of sleep. And the Lord said that knowing the time, that now is a high time for people to wake up out of sleep. It's a high time to wake up. Believe your gospel. Believe the Christ. To keep the commandments. To love the brother and the self. To love the Lord and the dark man and the soul. It's a high time to believe. Right, come on. For now is the salvation near than we have believed. Sisters, you've got two minutes for the word of God. We're living in the last days. Two minutes for the word of God. One scripture. One scripture. Romans 13 verse 11 and that knowing the time that now is a high time to wake out of sleep. The Lord said and now that knowing the time that now is a high time for people to wake up out of sleep. Come on. For now is our salvation. Oh, you've got two minutes for the word of God. See music take over everything. That boom, 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 boom. That little tempo that destroys your mind, you know. You can't understand that she's getting a uh, 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 Lord it's evil. Right? Like in the film, uh, they ignore Tyrone, man. Stop playing music and you can, can kind of control them. And make them go whatever way you want to go. Make them just think, uh, think about killing. Make them think about, think about uh, dressing up naked. Make them think about stealing. Make them think about rubbing their brother. Just make you think evil uh, thoughts. Right? It's a frequency that this music is played at. That's why the reggae music, they don't really like to promote too much. The reggae gives you a calm, mellow, uh, a vibration. Man. These vibrations they listen to is an off vibration, man. Right. Right? Look, so I'm not gonna hear your songs, man. I'm gonna get that in Amos in a minute as well, man. But now the salvation nearer than we have believed. Now the salvation nearer than when we believe, man. The salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. The salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. It's high time for people to wake up and sleep, man. To believe the gospel, man. The people's right. Right before we get left, move right or we'll get left. It's kind of dangerous. Amos 5 verse 21 I hate and despise your feast days I will not smell in a solemn assembly the Lord said I will not smell in a solemn assembly right, come on though he offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings the Lord said though you offer me burnt offerings and meat offerings I will not accept them right. neither who I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts right. take thou sister come here the word of God sister come on take thou away from me the noise of thy Ooh. songs for I will not hear the melody of thou vows. The Lord said, take away from me that boom, bam, boom, 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 that rubbish music, man. Take away that rubbish music away from me. I'm not going to hear the vows of your songs, man. Because if you're not doing this singing about each other, so a lot of these rappers are dropping dead, man. A lot of these rappers are dropping dead nowadays, right? Every, every now and again you hear about a rapper getting killed for a chain. And more time is a conspiracy, man. They're sacrificing these rappers, man. Right? The only conspiracy uh, theories, uh, theories are out there, man. Right? They're sacrificing these rappers after they sign contracts. Right? Come on. Verse 23. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. Woo. I will not. For I will not hear the melody of thy vows. The Lord said, Take away from me the noise of thy songs, but I will not hear the melody of thy vows. The Lord is going to hear your songs. Your off music, man. Every minute. Exodus 22 verse 16 And if a man 
sacrifice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her. Lord, if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed, is not promised to her, he shall surely, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. He shall surely endow her, he shall pay a dowry back to the father and make her his wife. So if a woman is not promised to another man and he shut her up, he enticed the maid, uh, and she's not betrothed to anyone, Hey, he has to make her his wife once he lies down with her and give her his father a dowry. Amen. Amen. Brother, you believe in God, you've got two minutes for the word of God. Sister, you believe in God, you've got two minutes for the word of God. See that? Read it, read it. Verse 17. If her father utterly refused to give her unto him. The father can say, no, I don't want to accept the dowry. I don't want to give uh, her unto um, you. Come on. You shall pay money. This is the number one. It's a shot, Daniel. This one, it. Where are you from? Sorry, Lord. Three times. Come on, man. You're people, man. Hold on, one second, one second. Don't go on. This one is Jesus. This is the fake Jesus. Yeah, but we've got to show them because our people like to worship that image. They like to worship this man and say, This is God. They say, This is God. But it's not. Two descriptions of revelation. How you mean? Two descriptions. Bible, that's good. Sisters, I'm in the word of God. It's time to wake up. Repent, believe the gospel. Right? <laughs> so, yes, you'll be uh, a so-called uh, Negro, you'll be a, an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Free town. What did they do in Free town? They murdered, killed, took the diamonds, raped, yeah. stole, done all manner of evil. What people done this? What people done that? One guy. Go up. Turn them away. But the Lord never called them white. He called them Eden, which means red. They're red, they're not really white. Right? And we're brown, we're not really black. Right? And they're hairy, and we're not hairy. So there's a different description pertaining to them and us. Right? This is a punishment from God. Do you know that in the Bible? The Lord said, because you don't listen, I'm going to beat you. I'll send up a news and I'll do it. Get that, get that for him, get from, that for him. From, from, from a distant nation. Get, get that for him. I don't hear no more. Get that for him. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Yes. And on. the Lord shall bring thee yes. into Egypt again. Yes. With ships. With what? With ships. The Lord's going to bring you to slavery. Egypt means slavery again. With ships. Feeding a baby to alligator to make leather belts. I'm going to send a wicked nation against you. Yes. Not going to guard your young. Not going to guard your woman. Not going to guard your old. Come on. By the way. Barom, I spake unto thee. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. Read on. And there, to be sold unto your enemies. Not your friend. Enemies. What about your manager? Or to your enemies. What about the football coach? Or to your enemies. Lord, so we're going to send them unto your enemies. A man that's going to rip you in half with horses to make Levi like deans. It's a wicked people. They're not our friends. They're our enemies. Come on. For bond men and bond women. For slave man and slave woman. And no man shall buy you. Not one going to redeem you. Christ is all for black men from the tribe of Judah. It's coming back straight right. you. Yes. From the hand of your enemies. Come on. To benefit from slavery. Yes. Up to this day. Oh, yes. To this day. Yes. Right? Come on. Let me get uh, 48. We're going to show you all the curses that pertain to our people now. If you can buy by yourself, if you can feed yourself, if you can clothe yourself, or if you have to go to your enemies for all these basic necessities. Come on. Deuteronomy 28, verse 54, um, 48. Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies, Woo! which the Lord shall send against thee. Which who? Which the Lord shall send against so wait, thee. Wait, the Lord sent them against us. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord thee. send them to the west coast of Africa. Go get the Israelites, the chosen people. Come on. In hunger and in thirst. In hunger and in thirst. And in nakedness. And in nakedness, come on. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. Now, what's the last thing you ate? Because the Lord said your enemy is yeah. going to provide that food. Come on, what's the last food you ate? What's the last food you ate? KFC? Just say you ate KFC. Who owns KFC? That's your enemy. Who owns a uh, uh, Highland water spring? Who owns, who owns the garments? Who makes the textile companies? Or in them, whichever one. But it's still our enemies, right? Evil one, we still right, go right. with them. H&M and, and, and TK Maxx. Come on. And in what else? And in nakedness. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. You've got a birth certificate, a passport, a driving license, a death certificate. All these things you've got to go to. Who 
you gotta go to to leave the country? You wanna take a one way trip to Sierra Leone yeah. and not and don't come back? Who you gotta go to? You gotta tell them, right. look, I wanna leave the country. Yeah. The Lord said that's a curse in the Bible for you right. to tell someone you wanna leave your own country, and they even say yay or nay. They say no, I don't want to leave. Right. What are you gonna do? You gotta leave. No. That the Lord said that's a curse in the Bible, right? Let me get 28 and 1. Let's get some good things now. Let's show you what would have happened if you did listen. All the good things that would happen. Alright? Because we're the greatest people on the earth. Yes. Everyone take from us. The oil, the minerals, the zinc, the copper, the gold, the diamonds. You name it, they stole it from us. Yes. Right. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Lord said, if you hearken carefully, what's going to happen? To observe and do all his commandments, right. which I command you to stay. Come on. That all these curses, no slacky. He's so used to reading the curses. Read it again from the top. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. It shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto, carefully. unto the words of the Lord thy God. What's going to happen? To observe and do all his commandments, which I command you to stay. Right. And the Lord thy God will set thee in high above all the Above all the nations the of the earth. You're going to put God high above everyone. You're going to own the whereabouts. You're going to own the castle. You're going to own the co-op. You're going to own the uh, savings. You're going to own the ice land. You're going to own everything. The marketplace. You own all these things. If you just listen to me and keep my commandments and don't worship your false gods and love your brother as yourself and so on. Come on. Yeah, the devil pushes you on. I'll, I'll show you all that. You get this all. We've got flies for you in a minute. We've got flies. And they probably done it on purpose as well, you know. I saw the word of God coming out. Yeah, I see the way you move, boy. These people are wicked, man. Yeah. You even made me kind of move a bit as well, I like. So, um, read on, read on. Watch yourself. Read yeah. on. Verse 3. Blessed shalt no, bless shall thou be in the city, right. and blessed shall thou be in the field. The Lord said, blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall thou be in the be in the fruit of thy body, right. um, the fruit of thy ground, right. and the fruit of thy cattle. So we're meant to have blessings, but guess what? We broke the commandments, you have curses. So if we broke the commandments went to slavery, what do we have to do to undo the cursing on us now? And how do we come back by doing what? And keeping the, keeping the commandments. So let's get some commandments for the king. And let's get some commandments for the so do you believe with the Israelites? First and foremost, do you believe with God's chosen people? You want to take this out That's what I'm Do you believe with the Israelites? Do you believe with the Israelites? Okay, we'll pray some more. So let's get some commandments for the Israelites. Exodus 31 verse 15. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest. Holy to the Lord. Whosoever doeth any work in a Sabbath day. Madness. You are dead. You want to die and get in the head. That's all that's going to happen. You're going to crash and that's all that's going to happen. Wow. Go on. Read, I'm going to read it again. Exodus 31 verse 15. Six days may work be done. Right. But in the seventh, in the Sabbath of rest. Right. Holy to the Lord. Come on. You shall ever do any work in the Sabbath day. Right. You shall surely be put to death. So the Lord said, if we do any work in the Sabbath day, we're surely going to be put to death. Now, when is the Sabbath day? When is the Sabbath day? What day is the Sabbath day? The Sabbath day. What day is the Sabbath day? So, Saturday. So it's the Sabbath day today, no? Yeah. So if it's the Sabbath day now, what can we do? What can't we do? So the Lord said, you shall surely be put to death. If you need for speed or, or uh, what's up again, uh, a drag race, you can't be doing these things, right? The Lord said it's a rest day today, you have to keep the commandments and do what's right according to the Lord's statutes and commandments. If you want to have rest and if you want to be at peace, or your enemy is going to keep killing you, you've got to have to defend them. They struggle with a woman. Right, right. You hear about that? What's wrong with that? About two weeks ago, you hear about that? Actually, they struggle with a woman. She wants to buy the weed, you want to get the weed or whatever. And the man said, no, you can't take this back. And they start strangling her. Yeah. You can see it, right? Yes, sister, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. I think you've got to realize things that are happening in, in this day and age. If 
go to Peckham now, it's a big protest. Where is it here? Peckham, um, Peckham, 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 No, 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 no. Good, um, go up, go up, opposite, 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 where, where the, um, where the fish shop is, the beef shop is, like, basically the shop's closed down and it's, it's like, bare, like, a lot of posters outside, outside the shop, in it, so, like. So, where Argus used to be, where it used to be. Peckham High Street, it's part of this. Not too far from McDonald's, right? It's got a bit, a bit further down, right? So, anyway, the thing that happens to our people, our people, we don't keep the commandments. The curse is going to happen to our people. If we keep the commandments, we'll be on time, right? The Lord's going to deliver us from the hands of our enemies. Right, so let me get Leviticus 11 and 7. Leviticus 11. These are the things you've got to realise. Leviticus 11 verse 7. And the swine, that you divide the hoof. So the Lord said the swine. What is a swine, brother? What, what animal is a swine? The pork. The pork, the eat pork? The Lord said we can't have no pork. Guess what? We can't have no uh, Colgate toothpaste that's got pork in it. We can't have no Harry that's got pork in it. All these things got pork in it. You've got to uh, understand this man's going to put pork in everything. So, Colgate toothpaste Yes! Pork in it. It's got pork in it. That's what I'm saying. If you say you don't eat pork, you don't know. You might eat your pork. Yeah. You might want to get a different toothpaste because they put pork in everything. Right, right. Wow. Can I get it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Sister, tell me the word about Sister, two minutes. Of the flesh, so you not eat, and the carcass, so you not touch. They are in Dino's No more crab shrimp, lobster. No more and Dino's No lobster, yeah? So the word of God's going out to his people, man. God's chosen people, the so-called black Spanish, who are part of all people, man. It's high time for people to wake up and to believe the gospel, man. All that trying to be too cool is done away with, man. You're trying to be too cool to be a people, man. I can't do it, I'm too cool, man. Right? Which is the word of God, I'm too cool for it. No, man. Finish up with that. Right? Is anyone got time for the word of God? Two minutes. I've been hearing you not anti-white, are you? Hey, hearing... we're anti-evil. We're anti-evil. Okay. What have you been hearing? I've been hearing that you've been, like, talking about how white people put what? you into slavery. Yeah, every day there is no white people. I've never seen a white person in my life. You're red or pink, and we're not black or brown. According to history, and according to the Bible, the Lord said as a punishment, his people are going to go into slavery. That actually happened. And that's in the Holy Bible, the King James Version. A lot of our people don't know that so-called black people ruled Europe for a thousand years, in the Dark Ages. So, if the Bible is saying that he has a chosen people, and there's one people that's above everyone, that triumphs in every single sport, in um, intelligence, in inventions, and the Lord said he hates those people, he put his people into slavery, we're saying what the Bible's saying. Now, what do you have to say back to that? I just don't, if you're preaching hate. Well, the Lord will... said he hates the evil. And there's one people that rape, murder, assault, everything. Well, there's I think Lambeth Council are on to you and they're watching again? you. Lambeth Council are watching you. It doesn't matter who's watching us, the Lord's watching us. Yeah? The Lord's watching us. Look what happened to our babies. People that live on the street, oh, in this building. All right, all right. Now. The Lord's watching us. Yeah. Look what happened to our babies. As a I, just, I suggest you move on somewhere else. You see what I'm saying? She doesn't I care. Suggest you you move see what I'm saying? She doesn't care else. about what happened to our babies. Will, you don't care what happened to our people in slavery. So when the Lord comes back, your head's coming off. It's the truth, man. The Bible's the truth. Yeah. Read that in here. Read on. Well, Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. Well, people will be supporting you. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery under these nasty people that don't like to wash. Come on. By the way, we're wrong. I spake unto thee. Thou shalt sit no more again. And then we sold unto your enemies. So the Lord said, These people are your enemies, right? They're your enemies. Come on. For bond men and bond women, right? and no man shall buy you. A slave man, a slave woman, and no man shall buy you, man. The Lord says, Strive for the truth until death, man. You're making so much complaints as you want to make. We know we made that complaint, man. That nasty, uh, 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 Roman man, that was with the sister man. Right, right. Uh, if she was a sister man, because sometimes, more times, they might even be a sister man. Uh, they might be on the other side, the oh. left side. Uh, but anyway, we're going to continue with the word of the Lord. Man. I've heard you hear that, hey, listen, we're saved, just saved the Lord. Right? And we're showing truth. And everything I said, she didn't have a word to say, but you know, she didn't really have much to say back to her. But all the evil happened to our people, what we went through, and God showed them people who are intelligent, who invented everything. And as a punishment for God, we were put under the hands of these people. Actually, I'm not to say to them. Actually, I'm not to say to them. Right? If you're only going to say to the Lord, let me get first gift for them. Imagine if you said our own words. Then you can use that against us. But because we're going behind the Bible, we're using the Lord as our helper, they can't do nothing against the truth. Nothing. Right? 
even when I confounded and told her I've never seen a white person around, I've never seen a black person around. Yeah, no words. You said it the whole time. Auntie, how did they go? You think you got it? You think you got it? We're living in the last day. Prepare to live together. Huh? Prepare to live together. Prepare to live together. Prepare to live together. Prepare to live together. That's why I don't even use that word. I tell brothers in law around the four corners of the earth, stop using that word white, man. They're not white, they're red. Stop using that. They're Edomites. Or say so called if you're going to say it. Don't use them as that. Also, when you're calling them that, you're calling them pure. You've got to know what words mean. Yeah? You don't call them in either. You don't, you don't call them in. Brothers, I call them in. See a lot of that going on. It's, 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 a, it's an area you're making. Don't call them in. Don't engage with them. They want to ask questions, answer it. That's it. Don't say, come in, come in, come in. Don't say none of that, man. If they're showing interest in it, stand around. Then you can kind of talk for a bit. But only go just say the Lord, like this brother's about to do now. Verse Peter 4, verse 11. Right. Verse Peter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth that God in all things may be glorified through so Jesus Christ. Says, any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High, that the Lord may be glorified. This is what the Lord may be glorified, man. Right? Yes, it's a piece of blessings. Check out the fly, eh? You look into your Bible, you read everything. Since last week, what happened since last week? I think it's not, but I rendered my heart as not my garbage. But you've got to change your garment as well, sister. I've got the dress. As a princess. He said, he said, render your heart. You're not talking about this. But you are going to dress as a princess. Is that for now? 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 Is that for
all those that leap on a freeze hold, which threshold, which fill their masters' houses with violence and deceit. Can't be wearing no strange garments and can't be filling any house with violence and deceit, man. Go in another man's house and butcher and jack up everything and there's pure deceit and now you own the deed and it's your house and robbery and, and thievery, man. Huh? Can't be stealing, man. Sister, you believe in God, sister? Got two million no, God. God. What God is our God, though, sister? What God is our God? <laughs> Come on, sister, let's have a conversation. What God is not our God? That's madness, isn't it? Not your God. So what other God is it then? You know the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. The God of the Bible. Uh, but a lot of people going from different stages. I had bad experiences and think I had anyone. Verse, verse 10. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate and a whole pooling from the second and a great crashing from the hills. Who ye inhabitants of Makash, Matesh, for all the merchant people are cut down all day that bear silver are cut off. Right, so all your money can't help you, your job can't help you, your finances can't help you, your car can't help you, and not even your friends can help you. It's only the Lord that can help you. Because this world's coming to an end. World War III's on the way, all manner of evil, nuclear missiles, destruction, coronavirus part two, that's all coming to this place. And even you start to say amen. Right? The paint and decorate. Right? Come on. Verse 12. And it shall come to pass. And it will happen. And it shall come to pass. What's going to come to pass? That I will search Jerusalem with candles. You know, going to search Jerusalem with candles. Now, if I search a place with candles, it's going to be dark. No one's going to be there. I don't see something. But this is bad. This is bad. So come on, this one. This one here. This one. Bennett, let's read on, let's read on. So for now. You believe in God's system? You've got two minutes for the word of God. One minute. Come on, sister. The Lord woke me up this morning. Come, read on. It's only our people that ain't got time for God. All these other nations, they got time. Zephaniah, one verse. Bro, we've got two minutes for the Lord. I'm afraid not, that's fine. I'm not even going to answer them. Zephaniah, one verse. Twelve. Where we at? Where we at? That's enough. Thirteen. Come on. Therefore, their goods shall become a beauty and their houses a desolation. See, desolation, the reason why the candles will go through Jerusalem is to be desolate, nothing there, come on. They shall also build houses. And that's what the bombs are going to cause, destruction and evil. Right? Come on. But not inhabitant. When they start shooting the nuclear missiles, there's going to be nothing here. Right? And your car can't help you. Your money and your job can't help you. Your finances and your friends can't help you. Read on. See that? It's, it's a terror, it's a snare to these people. It makes them angry hearing about the day of the Lord. Come on. And, and they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. Come on. Verse sister, 14. You've got two minutes for the word of God. Come on, sister. See the smile on your face. It's the Lord who woke you up this morning. Verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near. The what? The great day of the Lord is near. I can't hear you, brother. The great day of the Lord is near. The great day of the Lord is near. One minute, sister, one minute. See that? But no one's, no one's taking it seriously, man. The great day of the Lord is near, man. Right? So our people need to hearken and keep the commandments and do what's right, man. Right? Because we're the ones at the, the bottom. We're the ones that are the first fired, uh, 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 last hired, man. We're the ones that are suffering, man. Everyone else is living their best life, man. Yeah? Doing what they want to do. Living it up, man. Going on holiday. Smoke, uh, having balloons, man. Right? And getting high off it. But everyone else is, 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 is living their best life, man. Yeah, Except for us. Come on. The day, the day of the Lord is near. It is near. What did the Lord say? The, day, the great day of the Lord is near. The great day of who? The great day of the Lord is near. So the Lord said the great day of the Lord is near. And we just read 
It's going to be desolate. There's going to be candles. It's going to be just destruction. There's going to be no cars, no money, no job, no food. Except you serve the Lord, you're going to be utterly destroyed. Come on. It is near. And haste it. Great. And haste it. It's going to be moving greatly. Come on. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there. What's going to happen? The mighty man shall cry there. But he lives in all the weeks. The mighty man shall cry there. But he's got lots of money. The mighty man shall cry there. But he's been eating for 100 years. The mighty man shall cry there. The Lord says the mighty man shall cry there. Yes, my brother. You've got two minutes for the word of God. You've got two minutes. You want to take a flyer? Fly, brother. Come on, please. We've got time. We've got time, please. You've been drinking? Let me get that, let me lick that one more time. Let me lick that, that was a mean one. Right? You might think I'm gonna go bang weights, I'm gonna go gym, I'm gonna be healthy. Hey, a lot of these men that uh, uh, work out, they drop dead, right, and right. They, they, they suffer heart attacks, man. If the Lord is not with you, you will surely perish. Come on. Zephaniah 1 verse 14. <laughs> the great day of the Lord is near. It is near. And haste is great. The great day of the Lord is near and it hastes greatly. It's coming quickly. It's not going to tarry, it's not going to wait. Hey, in Habakkuk it says, Don't tarry, wait for it. Come on. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Right? The day, that day is. Sister, two minutes for the word of God. Two minutes, sister. One minute for the word of God. What? That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble, a distress, right. a day of weight, weight, wasteness, right. and desolation, right. a day of darkness. A day of what? A day of darkness. What is the day of the Lord? A day of darkness. A day of darkness is coming to this place. A day of evil. Right. All manner of evil is coming to this right. place. Whether you like it, understand it, accept it or not. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick. A day of darkness and gloominess. Right. A day of clouds and thick darkness. A day of clouds and thick darkness is the day of the Lord. In Amos it describes the day of the Lord. Like if you ran from a lion, a bear, and then a snake beat you. That's what the day of the Lord described us. Right, come on. Verse 16. A day of the trumpet an alarm against the fences, cities, and against the high towers. Right. And I will bring distress upon men that... What did the Lord say? I will bring distress up upon men. The Lord said, I'm going to bring distress upon men. Your money's going to run out, your food's going to run out, all manner of help is going to run out. Unless you believe the Lord and serve Him, all manner of people come to the place. This is the second time around, sister. Is the Lord you're rejecting, not us? You see that, brother? Come on. We're just trying to show you the word of God, that's it. But now, nah, I'm sorry. Go on, people. That have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust. And the Lord said their blood is going to be poured out as dust. Hey, brother, you've got to read that one more time. You've got to read that one more time. And I'll bring distress upon men. The Lord said I'm going to bring distress upon men. When your whole family gets wiped out. We ain't got no electricity, you ain't got no phone. You don't know what time it is, you don't know what day it is. You haven't changed your clothes in two weeks. You haven't eaten any food because you're not used to fasting. We don't even know if the Lord's going to deliver you or not because you was lukewarm as a brother spoke about. You wasn't hot and you wasn't cold, you was lukewarm. Sometimes you're in the truth, sometimes you're out. Right? That'll be a terrible day for you. Come on. That they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord. Ooh. What did the Lord say? Because they have sinned against the, the Lord. The Lord said they're going to walk as blind men because they have sinned against the Lord. Right? In that day, you'll be wishing you would to serve the Lord. There's going to be no more parties, no more birthdays, whatever. All manner of evil is coming to this place. It's called World War III. But in the, in the Bible, it's called the Day of the Lord. Right? It's funny, but it's not funny because you ain't going to be eating that day if you're not serving the Lord. Right? The guy laughing, God. And their blood shall be poured out as dust, right. and their flesh as the dung. 
right? And their flesh could not went down waste. So their blood is going to be like dust. And their what? And their, their flesh, flesh as as the dung. And their flesh as the dung, man. Right? When a man relieves himself, that's how your flesh is going to be. It's going to be nothing. Right? Dead bodies everywhere. Right? Come on. Oh, no, I want to aim or something. Neither the silver nor the gold. Almost old chapter. We've got more or less to the end now. We're at the end. Right, come on. Shall be able. Shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. So the Lord said, Your money can't help you, your job can't help you, your friends can't help you in the day of the Lord's wrath. Right? Your money can't help you. Your friends can't help you. Your job can't help you. Your can't help you in the day of the Lord's wrath. Man. Unless you serve him, you'll surely perish. Your phone can't help you either. Huh? In the day of the Lord's wrath. Man. Let me get that in Amos. Uh, the Lord said, if you don't repent, you shall all likewise perish. Huh? Amos 5 verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. And the Lord said, destruction and death unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Why? To what end is it for you? The Lord said, what end is going to be for you? If you don't, if you desire the day of the Lord, what end is going to be for you? Come on. The day of the Lord is darkness the and not light. The day of the Lord is darkness. It's not light. Come on. As if a man did flee from a lion. As if a man fled from a lion. And a bear met him. And then a bear met him. There are no most men can't run from a lion. But let's just say you got away from the lion. And then you met a bear. You say, shoot, what type of, what type of episode I'm going through? Come on. The day of the Lord is not so oh, slack slacky, by the way. And a bear met him. And a bear met him. He got away from the lion. Or a went, bear met him. Or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall. Now he got away from the bear. He went into the house. He leaned up against the wall. What happened? And a serpent bit him. And then a serpent bit him, man. Hey, that's enough to give a man a heart attack. That's what the day of the Lord is like. Constantly on the move. Constantly rushing your food. Constantly running from the source, man. Come on. Yes, Mr. Bus Driver, you believe in the Lord. You've got two minutes for the Word of God. You've got two minutes for the Word of God. Go on. You've got two minutes for the Word of God. Word of God. Word of God. Believe in the Lord, man. You don't believe in God. So who wants to get up this morning? It doesn't matter who wants to get up this morning. Who wants to get up this morning? Not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light. Right. Even very dark and not brightness in it. So what the Lord says, shall not the day of the Lord be what? Darkness and not light. So the day of the Lord is going to be darkness and not light, right? A lot of people in that day, they're going to be wishing they were dead in that day. Man. They're going to be running towards death and death is going to run from them, man. Right, come on. Very dark and no brightness in it. And the Lord said, very dark and no brightness in it. That's what World War III is going to cause. That's what Coronavirus Part 2 is going to cause. That's what all my of is going to cause. Right? So you can walk with your flamboyant walk, man. That's not going to make a difference. You're going to walk kind of like leaning and whatnot. That's not going to help you. <laughs> Go on. Verse 21. I hate and despise your feast day. Which one, Jesus Christ? Which one?
Streets running reckless, God's chosen, better listen to Yahweh. He has spoken, who told these other nations this book they could open? If you're not Israel, then you're not chosen. All praises, honor, and glory be to Yahweh by Hashem, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Being fooled by our oppressors and all their lies, Ruach HaKodesh guides me from this world. I'm cutting ties out there on the highways and byways, we're edifying the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Spirit strong.